Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day, number 54. As always, thanks for tuning in, for watching, for subscribing to my YouTube channel, and for all the great feedback. I do appreciate it. And a special thanks today for the moderators of the uh, official Source Filmmaker forums on SteamPower.com for having taken my thread on the Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day and stickied it. Uh, that was a nice thing to do, and I appreciate it. Uh, it will make it a lot easier to find it over there, so that's good stuff. Uh, in today's tip of the day, I am going to show you how you can access uh, hidden elements of animation sets so that you can uh, do things, even for example, once you've attached a rig to a model, you can still accomplish certain tasks that might not be immediately apparent. And by way of demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and spawn a, uh, a sniper here. And uh, let's see, sniper, where is he? H WM. There he is. Hello, Mr. Sniper. Okay, and we'll uh, we'll grab him and put him on the ground here. Just place him center stage. And uh, one of the first things I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and import a sequence so that um, let's see, I'm just going to have him standing. I think with his uh, stand. Primary. That's the one. That's how he would stand with his uh, uh, rifle out. Uh, okay, that's nice. And so the next thing I want to do is now that I've gotten, so let's say that I've gone through a process and I've gotten him to where I want. Now I want to do some some uh, some animation with him. So I'll go ahead and attach a rig. And the rig is uh, something that a lot of us have used, I'm sure. Uh, these rigs allow you to, for example, when you move, if you don't have a rig attached, you have to animate every bone manually. But if you do have a rig, I can do things like lift his foot and his leg moves more or less naturally with him. Or I can grab his pelvis and turn him and his body will, will rotate more or less naturally. Because uh, the rig is using inverse kinematics, uh, which is something I should go over at some point and explain how that works. But for now, the rig just makes it easier to manipulate these models so that we don't have to manually animate every bone. But then, okay, now I want to add a weapon. Um, and so I've uh, uh, attached a rig, and I'm going to go ahead and create an animation set for a new model. And uh, I'm just going to put in a sniper rifle. I think it, there it is. W, yeah. If you're curious, by the way, why some of these models have a W and some have a V, the W means world model, which is the high detail model that you see in the world, and V is view model, which is the, the model that the player sees uh, in their point of view when they're... Um, when they're running around and so forth. So you know you get two for one today. Oh, okay, now I want to attach the uh, the sniper rifle to the to the weapon bone of the of the sniper, but where is it? There is no weapon bone. Because by attaching the rig, a bunch of the uh, objects and elements of the sniper's animation setup of his model have become hidden, including the weapon bone. So there's a couple of ways I could address this. One would be to detach the rig, which is annoying and can take a little while, uh, and then attach the, the, the rifle and then reattach the rig. But there's a simpler way to do it. If I just go up here and I select Show Hidden Controls, uh, we will find that the weapon bone is there, but hidden. So I can now grab the weapon bone, drag it over here, and then uh, just lock it as I would normally and then grab the zero preset and uh, move the sniper rifle and et voila, there it is. Now there's a couple of limitations to this. For example, if I grab his, uh, his head and try and move it uh, using, using the, uh, uh, the motion editor, it won't work. And that's because the rig is actually preventing me from doing that. The rig is locking any motion there. Uh, but you can use it to, you, to apply locks. I could lock his head to another object, although uh, you know, the, the, the hidden controls have certain restrictions on them. They're not, they're not really animatable directly, but you can use them to be parent, lock parents and so forth. And so that's a very quick and simple way to be able to attach a, a, uh, a weapon or to parent an object for a lock purposes without having to detach the rig and then reattach the rig and deal with that. So there you go. That's your tip of the day number 54, the access and use of hidden controls. As always, I encourage experimentation, and because, you know, I find all this stuff out by experimentation, so I encourage you to do it as well, because you'll find out stuff, uh, and it's fun. So there you go. That's your tip of the day number 54, how to uh, access hidden controls in animation sets and use them 
uh, for fun and profit. And I have been your host, Jimmer Linz. I thank you for watching. I look forward to tomorrow's tip of the day. And until then, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.